Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another unboxing. I'm Joe from joesdaily.com and today I have something so exciting to show you. Something I haven't even fully unboxed yet. I literally just took it out of the box that FedEx sent and put it on my table and I've literally waited to share it with you. So this is going to be the most live version of a unboxing that's technically not live, but in the sense my reaction will be live. So I hope you guys are excited. Now, as you saw from the title, uh, Lagavulin, the Scotch whiskey brand, has sent me a collaboration they did with none other than Nick Offerman, who is one of my favorite actors, comedians, just renaissance man. And I think this is going to be one of the most exciting unboxings I'm ever going to do because the collaboration he's done with Lagavulin has gone, I think it's gone on for about three or four years now. And actually, looking back at my blog, I'm looking at my computer right now, I have four or five articles featured the collaboration with Lagabul and Nick Offerman. For example, Nick Offerman sits still as a statue for 45 minutes. Nick Offerman stares in a camera drinking scotch for a whole hour. Nick Offerman sips whiskey by a fire for 45 minutes. I mean, it just goes on and on. Basically, he's done all these fun collaborations because he's, if you guys watch um, Parks and Recreation or he did watch Parks and Recreation, you know that... Ron Swanson is a big meat and scotch drinker. And honestly, I think that translates to Nick Offerman's real life. So the collaboration just makes total sense. So without further ado, let's go into this bad boy, which is the Lagavulin Offerman Edition box. So obviously, uh, the packaging is amazing. I mean, if you know Nick Offerman too, he's a big woodworker. Um, and so the fact that this is all kind of encased in this like faux wood, obviously it's not wood, but it's you know, it has the wood kind of wallpaper look, and it's got this beautiful <laughs> portrait of Nick um, for the Offerman edition with his, like, signature here. So opening it up, let's see what's inside. They, I'm so excited. I, I literally cannot contain myself. So they put a private message here, and I'll quickly read it if I can. It says, it says, Joe, I have spent countless hours parsing the alchemy for a new limited edition whiskey with Lagavulin distillery manager Colin Gordon. Together, we have concocted a most edifying nectar, Lagavulin Offerman Edition, age 11 years. I invite you to join me in one of the very first toasts of the Divine Whiskey, which I will. It's a little early, but uh, I will take a step to try it. And the quote says, Carrying the signature Lagavulin Islay single malt peatiness with sweet berry and orchard fruit notes, this scotch whiskey is for those who adore Lagavulin's padded and smoky flavor and the patience required to masterfully distill a single malt is what they told me to say, but I'd rather just tell you that I'm giggling with delight at the notion of you sampling this limited edition scotch. There can only be one. Here is the box, and as you can see, we got the glasses here, which I'll take out in a moment, and there's a card here, so I'm gonna see what this card says before I unbox this. Okay, I'm gonna put this down for a moment. So, inside the glass it says, lift the ribbons to find your very own custom-made tasting tray from the offer Offerman Wood Shop, courtesy of Nick Offerman. What? So that's another thing you should know. The Offerman Wood Shop is actually a real thing. Like I said, Ron Swanson is not too far off from the actual Nick Offerman. He is a, a woodworker and he has his own shop. And I did know this, which is a lot of people don't, but if, you, if you're a big fan of Nick Offerman, then you know this. So that's amazing. So I'm gonna take out the box first before I look at this, whatever they sent from his shop. So once again, the box has got this awesome this is something you can purchase. I know for a fact the box maybe not, but this for sure you can purchase. So the Lagavulin and Offerman Edition box, which obviously is covered in wood, and behind it it's got all its great inscription, which I won't read to you because I don't want to bore you even further. And I'm going to gently open it because this is kind of like a collector's edition, right? So I definitely want to keep this. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. When you open it up, you've got this nice little detail. Once again, you've got this uh, portrait, this 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 kind of old school drawn portrait, almost like back from like the news days when they didn't have, you know, portraits of, you know, photographers could do. They actually did drawings, like inscriptions. They've got that of Offerman. So let's take this out here. Oh, see the bottle. I almost don't even want to drink it. It looks so nice. So here's the bottle. And I will be opening this very soon. I am so excited. Like I've literally wanted ever since... I saw Nick Offerman do collaborations with Lagavulin. I was like, when is he going to have his own scotch? But, you know, it was probably in the making. Probably from the beginning, they decided we're going to do this, right? Because it's such a great collaboration. All right, so I'm put this down. Now, I'm so excited to see what's in here. Because, like I said, I did not know this was a thing. So you got to lift this out gently. Oh, my God. 
Look how dope this is. So it's got room for the bottle and the two glasses. Oh my God, it smells so good too. And on the back, it's got a, what do you call this? A branding. It's got a Offerman Woodshop branding. This is amazing. This is so cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these glasses on here. And don't worry, I'll get a better view in a second. Look how awesome this looks. I mean, this is definitely something you would definitely keep, you know, but it's a one of a kind in the sense this piece of wood is definitely from their shop. I mean, the fact that they sent this over custom and this was exclusive to me, um, that means so much. That's so awesome, especially because I'm such a huge fan of Offerman and Lagavulin. So this is this is like Christmas has come early. Um, how dope is this? So, of course, you probably are wondering is he going to open it? Of course I'm going to open it. Ah, the best sound. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just going to do a little bit. It's too early in the morning. All right. Ooh, it's it smells exactly the way they explained it, you know? Oh, so good. If you like PD scotches, and if you've never had Lagavulin, you you have to try Lagavulin. Um, I mean, there there there's a reason the brand has been around for so long and it's so successful. But I've always thought there the peatiness of it can be overwhelming for people that aren't a big fan of it. It's kind of like wine, where some people are like I don't like red wine, I don't like Pinot Noir. The truth is, you have to try multiple versions of it because there's not just one Pinot Noir. It's not just the grape. It's about how it's aged. It's where it's aged. All that stuff. And I feel like scotch can be the same way. So, you know, if someone's like, I don't like PD scotches, sure. But at least try different ones because I guarantee there's going to be one. And Lagavulin for me personally, I haven't tried every scotch out there, but Lagavulin for me um, is usually the ideal PD-ness for me. That means anything to scotch drinkers. So That is so good. Nick Offerman, if you happen to be watching this, good job, bud. I, I mean, I would expect nothing less from you. Ron Swanson, Nick Offerman, you are a gentleman. And uh, Lagavulin, seriously, thank you so much for this bottle and this package. I am going to cherish this forever. I keep these time, these, these are collectibles for me. Like, this is something I will never get rid of. Um, and I'm so excited to have it. And this will be something I only bust out on rare occasions because this is, this is cool. You know, this is awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I, like I said, I was so excited and eager. It took me... It took everything to not open this up earlier and just crack it open and drink it because like, I'm trying to do more unboxings for you guys. And the truth is, is like it kills me. It's like having a present that I know I have, but I can't open it. So I try to film these videos as soon as possible so that I can open them up. Uh, I just want to thank you guys so much uh, for watching my latest videos. I'm going to be doing more of these. So if you like them, make sure you know share them, click like, leave comments, all that jazz because I appreciate your feedback, as always. And of course, uh, when I'm not posting videos, I am blogging at joesdaily.com, and you can find me on all my social channels, at Joe's Daily. I appreciate you guys following me there, and supporting me there, and interacting and whatnot. It means a lot, and it does a lot for my business, and it helps me grow, so obviously, greatly appreciate your help in doing so. All right, guys, until the next video, I will see you. I'm Joe from joesdaily.com, and uh, hope you have a good rest of your week.